Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making this absolutely refreshing pineapple and ginger drink. It is super healthy, absolutely nutritious and easy to make. Let's begin. For my ingredients, I've got three pineapples. They are a bit on the small side, but that's okay. I've also got some lemon and some turmeric, which is optional. I've also got some ginger. You can use lime if you want, but I find it a bit too sour, so I'm going to stick with lemons instead. And if you can't soft fresh turmeric, you can use the powdered version instead. So I'm going to start by preparing the pineapple and I'm just going to chop off the head and the bottom and then go ahead and peel the skin. I should mention at this point that I will be using the pineapple skin as well as the chunks for this juice. This is optional, it's up to you if you want to use it, but I should tell you that pineapple skin is very, very nutritious. And I'm just going to run through some of the benefits. Pineapple skin is very high in vitamin C and this is great for building the overall immunity of the body. It helps to fight bacteria, also strengthens your teeth and gums and also keeps your bones healthy and strong. It also helps um, digestion and helps to relieve constipation and IBS. It helps to heal arthritis and, go and joint pains, helps to battle eye diseases like glaucoma and also helps to prevent blood clot. Back to the pineapples. After peeling, I'll go ahead and cut off the pineapple core that is the tough bit in the middle. I won't be discarding them though because I will be using them in the recipe later. After that, I'll go ahead and chop the pineapples into small chunks. So once I'm done with the pineapples, I will transfer the skin and the core into a bowl and set this aside for later and I will continue with the rest of the pineapples off camera. The next thing to do is to peel the ginger as well as the turmeric. The turmeric is not shown here but you will be seeing that later. I love to use ginger for this recipe because it adds the spiciness to it, you know, this aromatic flavor that is so good. It pairs so well with pineapple and it also has its own health benefits, including the antibacterial powers. It also helps to calm nausea, it helps to lower blood sugar, curbs the growth of cancer and also helps to ease arthritis. And it's also got loads, you know, loads more benefits. After chopping the ginger into small pieces, I will be transferring this into my mortar and pound. This is because I'm trying to release some of the juices. We will be boiling this, so we need it to be as potent as possible. So I will be doing this. Another thing you can do is to blend, but I just prefer to do this anyway. And after doing this, I will be setting it aside for use later. The next thing to do is to juice the lemons. Like I said earlier, you can use lime if you prefer to use that, but no, I will be using just, just lemons. So I will be chopping them into halves and then juice. I used about six, six for this recipe, but it's up to you if you want to use more. Some people can tolerate more, but I do suffer from acid reflux. So I try to use as little as possible, but this is okay for me. Once I'm done juicing the lemons, I will be setting it aside for use later. So the next thing to do is to wash the pineapple skin. You need to do this because you need your drink to be as healthy as possible. Pineapple skin do contain a lot of dirt and debris and you really don't want that in your juice. So I will be transferring that into this bowl and I'm also going to top with enough water. Now this next step is optional, but I do like to add a bit of apple cider vinegar to my to my pineapple skin before washing. And this is because I just feel like 
it gets it a lot cleaner you can use plain vinegar as well if you want and using a brand new toothbrush i will be cleaning the pineapple skin thoroughly I'm done washing the pineapple skin i will be rinsing this i will be doing this twice just for good measure and that's it with the pineapple skin so it's time for the main event and we will be boiling the pineapple skin so i've got a pan here on medium heat and to that i will be transferring the pineapple skin as well as the core i'm also going to add some turmeric as well and also some of the pounded ginger like i said earlier if you haven't got the fresh turmeric you can use the powder version i did add about a teaspoon of the powder version as well at some point but that's fine so next i'm going to top up with enough water to cover After covering with water, I'll stir and then cover and leave this to boil on medium heat for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I will turn the heat down to low and simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. This is what it looks like after it's done boiling. And now I will take it off the heat and sieve. If you're not pressed for time, you can leave to sit for another hour and this way the juice is a lot more potent. I should mention at this point that if you use the powdered um, turmeric, your juice may settle. And this is because it just doesn't combine well enough. And this is why I love to use the fresh one instead. So after straining, I will be setting it aside. Now we're back to the pineapple chunks and I will be transforming this into my blender. If you haven't got a blender, you can use a hand blender instead or just anything to just juice it. Or you can use a juicer, actually, yeah. So after transferring that into here, I will be adding some of the ginger. I'll also be covering with a bit of the juice, you know, from the pineapple skin. And after adding the pineapple skin juice, I will be covering and leave this to blend until smooth. So the next thing to do is to strain the pineapple juice and for that I will be using a cheesecloth. You can use a wire mesh instead but this works better for me. It took a while though. I think it took me about five minutes to, <laughs> to finish um, um, straining it but no pain no gain right? Anyway so I will be doing this off camera. This is what it looks like after straining. As you can see, it's got loads of foam on the top. This is why you should always use a juicer instead. But that's fine. I will be straining this with a spoon and it will be just as clear. Once the juice is strained, I'm going to add the juice from the pineapple skin and then I'm going to add the lemon juice as well, combine thoroughly and this is it. This is our juice, all done. At this point, you may choose to add sugar or any sort of sweetener that you like, but it's up to you. I prefer to use honey, but not all the time because I use it more for medicinal purposes. So this is how I love to enjoy it. I just add some ice into a glass and add my juice into it. And that is it. So if you do try this recipe, please let me know how you get on. 
and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video please 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 and i hope to see you in my next video thanks bye